During every hurricane season, here's a term you hear all the time, wind shear. In a nutshell, how does wind shear weaken storms? Well, when you look at a tropical cyclone, it is vertically stacked. These are cumulonimbus clouds that go high in the atmosphere, and it travels thousands and thousands of miles. It is a big, massive system, and it's fueled by the ocean temperature, as you know. But one saving grace as it nears the islands in past years that we've seen is called wind shear. We look at the upper level winds. It's a change in wind speed or direction with a short distance vertically. And usually these winds cut into the system and making it a much more shallow system. So that's what we hope for. We hope that wind shear will take the system apart. With no wind shear, this is what it looks like vertically. And weak wind shear, you can see a little bit of a shift in the upper atmosphere there. Strong wind shear cuts into the storm system. You you could think of it like a blender that cuts the system in half. And that's what we've been seeing in past seasons. Sometimes wind shear can disrupt the hurricane structure. And that's what we hope for. So cross our fingers this year that wind shear can cut into some of those storms that may near the islands.